Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Micra plugin review video. Today we are going to be having a look at one of the easiest chat plugins using AI. It literally took me less than five minutes to set up. The plugin is called GPT Assistant and you, you can get it at Polymart. So first things first, what this plugin will do, it's very simple. You can set up two sort of assistants. Number one being chat assistant. If I type in a hyphen and then I say how to, I don't know, earn money, as you could see, and then you can set up answers. So this is going to save you a lot of time. If players are coming at our server and they're asking the same questions over and over again, you can set up the most common questions and then the AI is going to intelligently recognize the question and provide the most appropriate answer. So very time saving feature. And then there is another regime which uh, can actually execute different commands such as I am hungry. And then I should be fully satiated. There we go. And now the command feed is executed. And you can literally configure this to do anything. And you can give, obviously, different permissions for different commands. Uh, please make me fly. See if that can be recognized. There we go. Yeah. And this is very intelligent. And now a fly has been granted. Take fly away. Flight mode has been disabled. Perfect. Everything works as it should. So the first thing is head over to Polymart. I'm going to leave a link to this plugin in the video description and download the jar normally. Installation, nothing special. Stop your server, place a GPT assistant in the plugins folder and start it again. Nothing special. Then we need to open up the server for the first time to let the GPT assistant config to be regenerated. Stop the server again, open up the config. And first thing you need to set up is the API key. So you, you can either head over to the Wikipedia and read how this works. So basically, you just need to visit the OpenAI platform, make an account or log in and generate a unique API key from the API keys section. If you head over to the API keys and you make a new secret key, and for example, we're just going to say plugin test permissions all create a secret key. There we go. And then we can just copy this and then we can paste it. Uh, right here, just like that. Now, the catch to this plugin, obviously, it uses the OpenAI platform, which is not free, but you can literally just buy credits for like five to ten dollars, and it's gonna run for a very long, very long time because uh, these queries are extremely cheap. So, if you need to get a credit, you can just go to settings and then head over to billing, and then you can ju just add to credit balance, and you can pay with any major credit card. This is not the money that you're gonna pay to the plugin. To developer. Very important distinction. This is the money that you'll basically top up your OpenAI account with, and you will connect that account with Minecraft, with that Minecraft plugin, just to make it clear. All right. Once you're done, you can start the server again. And then what you can do, you can leave the config on default, and you'll notice that you have assistant and chatbot files. So first of all, Let's just open up the chatbot. That one is simpler. This one is called Steve and the short tag basically denominates what I have to put in the chat to interact with, you know, my assistant Steve. And here I can edit the context such as example server, obviously change that to your own server. And then down below is a list of the data. So how to get money is a question. And then the answer is this. We can just test it. If you create a new question like that, what are the best coding courses? And of course, the how is cheap Udemy courses are the way to go. And then in the game, if I type in the hyphen space, what are the best coding courses? Then it should say cheap Udemy courses are the way to go, my friend. All right. So that's how we can configure these questions. Uh, there is an extra layer to it called conditional, which means you can basically create conditions using JavaScript using um, placeholder API permissions, such as if the player is inside the VIP group and the player's XP to level is at least 30, then they can use a VIP custom enchant, for example, and this is the message uh, that they're going to receive. Otherwise, they, this is called ternary operator. So if you're not familiar with JavaScript syntax, you can just Google ternary operator, how that works. Otherwise, if this condition is not true, 
then this message will be printed. So this is sort of for more advanced people that know programming and you can basically take that truly to a next level using these um, infinite amount of combinations using conditional formatting, which I absolutely love. I think it's an amazing feature. All right. The second and the final feature I want to teach you is heading over to the assistant and checking out the assistants themselves. So basically the difference if I understand it correctly, between an assistant and a chatbot is the assistant is able to execute commands. This one is called Alex. The short tag is a star. So if I type in a star and a space, I'll be able to call my assistant. And then I'm not going to spend my time over the details because what, what is important is again, the data set. And then what you need to type is the query, which is the actual prompt that I need to type in. The action is warp shop. This is the actual command that is going to be executed. Uh, the action type, you can just read on the Wikipedia, whatever that is. But logically, that means that uh, I need to execute it as a player, not as a console. And then the purpose is teleport directly to the store. However, I don't have this warp right here. Uh, so I'm just going to test it with returning to spawn. You are now returning to the initial spawn and it says unknown or incomplete command. Okay. Because I don't have a spawning plugin. Let me just type in something else. I need to heal. You feel a warm glow, blah, 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 and then execute executed command heal. So the message right here, I think this one is dynamically generated based on the purpose, but what isn't is the heal command. So you're certain that the heal command is always the same. And again, you can use conditional um, variations to even execute different commands for players in different groups or players having different health, being in different worlds. Basically with placeholder API, the combinations are infinite. GPT assistant is actually one of my favorite plugins. And I'm only sorry that I haven't made this video earlier because I think every serious network should at least give it a try. It can save you a lot of time. And if you set it up properly, it's going to make life for your players so, so much easier. It's going to, it's going to reduce the strain on your staff and players can now finally uh, get the help that they deserve instead of always having to send a message in the help up channel or wait for your staff to come back online. All right, guys, that's it for this quick review video. Comment below if you have experience with this plugin, if, you, if you've made some cool conditions, share them below. Subscribe to this channel for a cool and advanced coding tutorial, the weird coding tutorials are coming up very soon, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.